Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to a very quick video. Hey, this is gonna be a very short little video. I just wanted to give a cautionary tale slash warning out there. So uh, my cousin sent me some horrific pictures of the movement of his Rolex Datejust and it's very, very telling and very, very sad. So I, one of the things I wanted to say in this video, actually the only thing I wanna say in this video is that this, be very, very, very careful who it is you decide to send your watch to service to. You know, I think sometimes people take this for granted and we don't really think this stuff through, but your watch is a mechanical device and like your car, it needs to be treated with respect and when it's not, you're gonna pay dearly for it. So I'm not fully sure of when this all took place in terms of the initial service, but uh, my cousin was wearing his Datejust, it stopped working and he sent it in to have it serviced and the guy who took a look at it sent him back these photos right here. And, you know, you're looking at the balance wheel right there. Now, what isn't really evident in these photos, but what was part of the reason that I have these photos and I'm making this video was, the person that went to service the watch discovered glue inside the movement. Now, I know a lot of you guys aren't, you know, as into the watch world as some of the other guys, so most of you know, probably watching this channel, that there's no reason for glue to be inside of a watch movement. For, for those of you who don't, Again, there's no reason for glue to be inside of a watch movement. A watch movement, of, especially one from Rolex, is metal and it's lubricants and you might see silicon, for example, on the hairspring. There's, there's a couple of materials you'll see in there, but you would never see pieces glued together. And so what happened here is before this most recent service, somebody at some point did an economical, economical job of repairing this Rolex. I'm not really sure what the issue would have been then, but somebody, rather than properly fixing this Rolex and putting back new or uh, refurbished parts in it, just glued shit back together. And the problem is now is that my cousin, who owns this watch, went to get it serviced, and the watch is beyond economic repair. You know, it's uh, extremely unfortunate, but the movement is destroyed. I mean, it's glued together, and to fix it, it's just it's not worth fixing. So, you know, you went from having a nice Rolex to having a paperweight, and <clears throat> unfortunately, this stuff can happen when you send your uh, watches uh, to people who don't really qualify to be working on them. You know, it's the littlest things can throw off a watch movement. I mean, moisture. I mean, the tiniest little things will throw off the accuracy of a watch. But glue, there's, it's absurd that somebody thought glue was a good idea to stick inside of a Rolex watch movement. So that's all I really wanted to say on the matter. Uh, my cousin has since replaced this one with a uh, 14060 uh, Rolex Submariner, which is a very nice watch, and I'm sure he'll love it for many years to come. But obviously he was devastated when he found out that his watch was now a paperweight and was worthless. So just a cautionary tale, guys. Be very, 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 very careful. When you need one of your watches to get serviced or you're thinking about getting one of your watches serviced, do the same amount of background checking and accreditation that you would when you take your car to get serviced or have an oil change on your car. Because there's a huge difference in outcome between having somebody highly qualified to work on your watch and a moron with a glue stick working on your watch. And unfortunately, in this case, it's cost them on their Rolex. So, again, that's all I really wanted to say. Now, I'd be really curious. I cannot imagine this is a one-off incident. I've heard of other stupid things happening to watches. So, I'm really curious, guys. Have any of you guys ever experienced this happening to one of your watches? If so, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to kind of hear uh, what else has been out there and what else has been taking place because it, it would not surprise me some of the crazy things people have seen, you know, with these watches. So thank you guys as always for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Again, just wanted to, to remind you guys to be careful. It's There's some really dumb people out there. And uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, let me know again what you guys think in the comments below, and I'd love to hear your experience. So thank you so much. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Somewhere on my head, you can click to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thank you guys so much. One other quick thing, I forgot to do this, and I know I'm gonna get called to task on this. Uh, customary wristwatch check. Today I am wearing a Rolex. I'm wearing my favorite Rolex I've ever owned, which is my Explore 2, uh, 16570. So uh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> really quick message there at the end. That's the quick wristwatch check today. Thank you.